What's up guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the new things that they added and the things that they patched with this new update. The first thing I want to discuss with you guys is a new free wrap that they're giving out. Anybody can get it. Um, all you gotta do is have a supporter creator code inside your item shop. You don't have to spend any money, you just have to have somebody's name and you get this free wrap. The next thing I want to discuss is the new weapon coming out. Um, I'm not really sure if it's a AR or if it's going to be like a sniper like the hunting rifle, but a lot of people on Twitter are thinking that they might replace the hunting rifle, my vault it, and use that instead, which I wouldn't really mind because I'm not really good with the hunting rifle. I don't really pick it up as often as I pick up other snipers, but let me know what you guys think. They've actually added some patches that a lot of people have been waiting for. Uh, planes won't be able to smash through structures anymore, so that's good. Zip lines have an interact button, so I'm guessing you have to hold X or I think it's what square depending on what console you play on or PC. But you're gonna have to hold a button to get on zip lines, and it says it grants immunity to fall damage. So I'm assuming you don't take any fall damage if you drop from a hot, um, a really high drop. Uh, hand cannons actually got nerfed too, not in damage ways. They just drop the structure damage to 150 to 100, so you won't be able to one-shot one wood when it's fully built or one-shot brick or metal when it's just being built, so that's good. A lot of people have been complaining about that recently because a lot of people have been running uh, Deagle Hand Cannon or not Deagle Hand Cannon, Pump Hand Cannon, so I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. There's actually some pretty dope skins coming to the item shop. Uh, Love Ranger is going to be back. Uh, the guy in the middle is like a Valentine's Day version of DJ Yonder. The girl to the very left, she's actually, she looks pretty dope. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about these skins in the comments. I think they look pretty good, especially the one on the very left. This next thing I'm actually super excited for is the old crossbow coming back into the game. This crossbow hasn't been in the game since, I want to say, early Season 3, late Season 2. Uh, it's not like the crossbow that we've been having, you know, in Season 6 or this season, where it's like, doesn't have a scope, and this one actually has a scope. It was actually pretty dope to use back in Season 2 or Season 3. I'm not sure when it was taken out, but let me know if you guys used to use this crossbow back in the day. RPGs are actually going through a big change, uh, for the better or worse. Uh... The powerful explosives will now take significantly longer to reload from 2.52 seconds to 3.24. So the reload time will be a little bit longer than before. Um, it also says the bigger change will be RPGs will no longer be able to be found through chests. So you cannot get RPGs by opening the chest. You have to find it from vending machines or supply drops. That's the only way you'll be able to find uh, RPGs. Um... This change, I don't know if they really need to change the reload time, but they definitely did need to take RPGs out of loot chests because it was annoying when everybody just had RPGs and it was annoying getting spammed by RPGs by everybody. So that's not too bad of a change. I actually kind of enjoy that change. Tell me what you guys think about it though. I could be wrong. Next thing I want to discuss is turbo building. Turbo building's delay has been decreased. I'm not sure by how much, but it's been decreased. You could definitely notice the change of how quick your builds are being placed. This is definitely how turbo building should have been meant to be in the first place. This next thing is for everyone that owns uh, the Battle Pass, Season 7 Battle Pass. Uh, with the new update, they're adding challenges that actually allow you to get new styles for skins, such as the Trog, Powder, and Onesie skin. It's actually pretty cool that Epic's doing that for people that have the Battle Pass. Like They're allowing more variety for skins that you unlock, so it's actually pretty dope. What do you guys think in the comments? Just let me know. I think it's pretty cool. Epic has actually recently announced uh, the Share the Love event, which is going to allow players to unlock five new uh, Valentine's Day themed items, which is pretty cool. I'm actually glad that they're doing a lot of these event, uh, events that are allowing people to unlock stuff for free. It's actually pretty good that they're doing that for the community. Another thing that they're adding in, and I don't know if this is just me or if you guys have been waiting for this too, is the ability to crouch while editing. I've been waiting for this for so long. There's been so many situations where I've been wanting to edit and crouch at the same time or crouch after I click my edit button, but it just wouldn't let me and I'd have to go out of my edit and then crouch and go back into my edit. So I'm actually really glad that they added this 
into the game is actually going to be really helpful for a lot of different situations. And uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be helpful for a lot of you guys, too, if you guys play anything like me. There is a couple small things. Uh, if you're a streamer, you can use streamer mode and pop-up cups again. And a lot of people are complaining about that. I seen Tifu was pretty pissed about it. He was getting stream sniped a lot. So that's changed in a uh, campfire collision. If you guys notice, whenever you place a campfire, you can't walk over them. Well, they finally made it that you could walk over them again, which it's such a small change, but it ticked a lot of people off. It made me mad. It was kind of annoying not being able to walk over a campfire like you used to be. So I'm glad that that's changed in a... Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on all my social medias and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Thank you.